Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Spare guns can be very dangerous weapons for self-defense, although of course they work best underwater. <laughs> we also tested pressurized air models from Cressy, and actually they are very, very, very effective, very powerful, especially when wow. overpressurized. Then I saw a professional piece of art from an artist from out of Mexico. Uh, in 2008 he designed a six-shot uh, spare gun that he called the Mosasaur Hunter. <laughs> I love that design, isn't it amazing? <laughs> if we look at the graphics, then you see that it is only one trigger that fires all six shots and that also matches that there is only one spool for the rope. So all six shots happen at once. This is probably a pneumatic design, but we can't be sure because there's this gap in between and that makes no sense if it's pneumatic. I don't really know what the joystick is made for. I see no reason to have a joystick on a weapon like that. So the question is, can we make a six shot spare gun at home so it really works? Well, yes. Let me show you what I came up with. Meet the Mosasaur Hunter 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you its features. It is made from six identical Cressy 55 pneumatic spare guns and they're all mounted in this rig. The guns themselves are unchanged but there is a little bit of string attached to each one of the triggers and if I pull the central trigger then all six triggers get pulled at the same time. Cocking it is fairly easy. You simply push this against something, or you can also put a piece of wood on the floor or something, and then you load what? barrel after barrel. Okay, done! <laughs> Let's test it against this little pyramid of cat food cans. And... <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you see, the fish got spared pretty good. Five of them penetrated about as deep as the others. One is a little weaker. I think I need to top up the air pressure and they give you a pump with a spare gun that you can use for that purpose. Cat food carnage. This is so much fun. I could do that all day long. <laughs> One of the advantages of leaving the guns intact is that you can still shoot every single weapon, like this. Which also has the advantage that your target isn't tumbling down. But you can also shoot two at a time, of course, like this. Bam! <laughs> and at any time, of course, you can also do this. <laughs> well, all in all, I think this is one of the most deadly handheld muscle operated weapons I've ever tested. It's a really efficient way to send three pounds of sharpened steel downrange. <laughs> also, I think it looks great, wouldn't you agree? Anyway, that's not it for today because I have a little bonus after this, but I still hope you like this because one last shot. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye. And for today's extra content, we have this chicken leg, which may look harmless, but it may attack at any time, so we must deal with it. Seriously, a lot of people wanted to know what happens when you put your finger underneath the rubber rowling press. Well, Mythbusters have used chicken legs before to simulate fingers. Let's try it with this one. All right, and. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't have ended well for your finger, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Bone splinters everywhere. It's gonna go in the soup tonight. Hmm. The hydraulic press channel has also tested to squash uh, live ammunition and it was fairly unspectacular. It didn't go off. 
So I thought maybe with our hammer build thing here, this could actually go off. So I can't shoot live ammunition here in Germany outside of a shooting range. But what I can do is I can fire blanks. So I have some 9mm revolver blanks. I have some 9mm parabellum blanks. And I also have some 22 rimfire blanks. Let's start with the uh, 22s. Okay, and... <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here you can see what is left over from the 22 ammunition. Not very much. All right, guys, as you see, it's again starting to rain, which is also the reason why I cannot build the bowling ball launcher. I need at least five days of dry weather for that. As you see, it rains every day currently. It's really too bad. So we went indoors and we'll have to do uh, the uh, tests with the center fire ammo next time. Anyway, a while ago, I made this slingshot and I made it from this old root that I found in my garden. As you see, it's completely rotten. And it still smells very strongly like fear, like in a sauna, really. And people told me that this is special because this is what is called fat wood. Means that it is completely soaked with resin. That is why it still didn't rot away. And this is also the reason why it has this beautiful color. Well, fat wood has one advantage. It burns very easily because it's really containing a lot of resin. So let's test if a splinter from that wood really burns so good. Here is a splinter from that wood. Yes, it catches fire very easily. Nice smell. And it burns for some time. You can really use this as a torch. Fat wood. If you need to start a fire, go look for it.